Male Redditors Would You Date a Single Mom? Why or Why Not? I dated a woman with kids once and swore to never do it again. I stayed with her longer than I should have because I loved the kids even long after I knew it wasn't working with the mother. Breaking up with the kids was harder than breaking up with her. I dated a single mom for a while. Two kids, ages two and six. Broke up because well. She wasn't really a good mom, she let her mother, the children's grandmother basically do everything and she was very hands off. I just couldn't be around that situation. Felt bad for the kids, but at least the grandma seemed to be doing a decent job. As a single dad, I almost exclusively date single moms. Anytime I've dated someone with no kids they end up getting really defensive anytime I put my son first and it's really frustrating. Single moms just understand me better. I dated a recently divorced mother with a four-year-old son. His bio dad was into drugs, partying, and so on and he did everything he could to make her life miserable by stalking, harassment, no financial support, trying to turn her family against her. He tried to intimidate me with obscure threats and general thug behavior. None of it worked and he offed himself a couple of years later. I raised a smart, confident, empathetic, and successful young man as the only father he knew. His mother and I have been married for 25 years. Nope, definitely not ready for a kid. I married one. The kid is great. Only problem is the shared custody with the birth father. He was an asshole before I came into the picture, and he feels threatened by my existence so he's gotten even worse. Depends, does she have extra fruit snacks for me? I am in the minority. I can't have kids of my own because of the risk of genetic problems. I love my girlfriend and her son. I couldn't have asked for a better way to be a father without making a life. Nope. I'm still not even sure I want kids, but if I did, I'd want that to happen at my own pace. I have and she and her children were wonderful. The eternal link to the ex and her inability to relocate due to custody agreements were a concern. I believe in almost nothing is a deal breaker, but some things are strongly not preferred. I'd say yes because I'm a father myself. But it depends how many she has. I don't want a football team. Nope, if things go badly I wouldn't want to put their kids through anything emotionally. Plus don't want to deal with kids. Married one 25 years ago. No regrets at all. I don't have to have any kids of my own, and her kids are absolute legends. The first time her youngest daughter wanted to call me dad since her stepmother was making her use mom for her. Man, my heart could have stopped right then and there and I would have died a rich man. As long as she doesn't have any red flags, yes. By red flags I mean like. Being toxic and stuff. Another man had to step up and be my dad when my dad chose not to have a relationship with me. I'd be honored to do that for someone else. And if the dad is involved there's nothing wrong with that. Have done in my early 20s, found she was a lot more fun in the bedroom too. She made time for me but always put her son first, no room for complaining as he was always gonna be first in her life. It didn't work out in the end but those few months were something I remember fondly. If I was a single dad then sure. I would not. I don't want kids. Personally, I would but probably one at most. Definitely only one other dad who isn't an absolute bell end. If it's multiple dads that's a 1000 no go. I had a vasectomy for a reason. I don't ever want to be a parent. I'm not every dude though. I'm sure plenty of guys would love to be a dad or be a good partner in a loving home. I just know that isn't for me. Nope I would like to have a child-free companion. Now my wife would be furious ha ha I'll be here all week, armpit far. Armpit farm. No. I'm child-free and realistically it's impossible to have a long-term relationships with a mother without have a relationship with the kid. It's just not fair to be in the mum's life for years and still refuse to deal with the kid. Nope. 
not interested in being a step-parent, ever. No chance. I made that mistake once. No thank you. I don't care for children and have no interest in co-parenting. Dated one. Married her. Adopted her little boy as my own. We've been together for over 10 years now, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. A bartender I worked with told me to think long and hard about doing that because if you knock her up again you're a dad twice. No, don't want kids so why would I raise someone else's? Can't possibly know this without more details about the women. Anything is possible with the right person. No. Seems like a nightmare. No way Jose. Nope. I'm not even sure if I want kids of my own, let alone be stuck raising someone else's. And whether we like to admit it or not, it also comes with a lot of extra baggage having kids from a previous relationship. I'd rather take an 810 with no kids than a 1010 with kids. And I'm not just talking about looks with those scores. No. Because I don't want to. No. I don't want to be father that stepped up. I tried it, and it was an awful experience all around. That's not to say some can't make it work, but never again for me because of a variety of reasons. I don't want kids, let alone someone else's. Would never have done this while I was single. Already have. Didn't like it. Sure, you just have to find the right one. Quite frankly, with the one that used to be my girlfriend she was hard-working, honest, responsible, and cared deeply for her three children. She's human though and had her flaws. But while she was my girlfriend I trusted her, had awesome times with her, and fell in love with her. She's not my girlfriend anymore. She is now my fiancé. We have a three-year-old daughter together and are getting married next summer. I'm glad I decided to date her even with kids. I'll be proud to be their stepfather. Probably not. Not interested in parenting. I married a single mom, on November 5th we celebrate 15 years together and 12 years happily married. I prefer single moms. I have kids of my own. It's easier to date someone who has the same priorities. If I didn't had kids, I would probably not date a single mom. No. Props to a guy who can do it, my stepdad who I consider my father, screw my biosperm donor and what he did with my mum and looking after us kids was amazing. He even adopted us. But it's just something I can't do. I have no interest in kids, I don't want kids and I honestly don't think I would be a good father figure. Nope, kids are a huge responsibility and building a new relationship with someone takes a lot of work. I don't think you can do both and not involve the kid in some way which doesn't end well for the kid if things don't work out. I don't want any part of that. I married a single mom. He was a year old. He's 19 now and my best friend. Mom on the other hand. Fuck no. I don't want kids. Not mine or anyone else's. That said, as long as I knew going in that a woman was a mother if I fell hard enough I don't think it would be a deal breaker. It just couldn't be concealed. MILF yes, teen no. Nope. Don't want to. It depends. Can he carry in lol? No. Multiple reasons. 1. The kid will never listen to me. 2. If I end up liking the kid s, breaking up with their mother will hurt me. 3. I want to avoid crazy baby daddy drama. Prefer not, much simpler without children. Depends on circumstances, age, relationship with ex etc. It's much harder to find a partner with non-adult children. In my 20s, probably no, in my 30s, probably maybe, in my 40s, probably yes, in my 50s, absolutely. This is all based on maturity, experience, patience, and confidence that most men gain throughout the years and a lot of trial and errors. I did once and will never again. Just don't want to be a dad. 
I have dated a single mom and the breakup was painful, particularly as regards the child, who I came to adore as my own. That being said, I would still date a woman with kids since I don't see it as a disqualification and believe the risk of pain is part of a potential great relationship.